So, I'm eating some yogurt, y'all. This stuff right here, this yogurt is so good. If you're somebody that's like trying to watch what you eat and um, you want something like really, really, this is some good yogurt. This is, this yogurt is kind of expensive, but I mean, all of the ingredients are real in it. I've been like really paying attention to the ingredients that's in stuff nowadays because y'all they putting so much shit in our food they putting so much stuff in our food especially like meats meat products and dairy and stuff i kind of try to like make sure that i'm really really paying more attention to what <laughs> i'm putting in my body but this yogurt is called note noosa and um it is the shit okay so noosa if you want to um sponsor your girl i will definitely gladly gladly take you up on that offer because y'all make some really good yogurt um this is my favorite the blueberry so i'm eating yogurt i'm just chilling y'all today i'm really trying to just get some stuff done my son is at school husband is at work so i got the house to myself i'm chilling i'm relaxing I'm trying to get stuff done. I know I didn't already said that before, but I just thought about making this video and I wasn't even really planning on making this kind of video, but I was like, you know what? I try to make videos of stuff that's going on in my life, like stuff that I can really relate to. That way, when I'm telling these things to y'all, y'all can understand me because I've actually been through the shit. I actually understand. So this video is for anybody that feels alone, that they don't have a lot of friends, they're always by themselves. <sighs> this video is for you because I am that girl. Like, I don't really have a lot of friends and I can't really say that my social life is, <laughs> I don't wanna sound like, I'm like super depressed or anything like that because I'm not, but I don't have um, a large circle of people in my corner. I've noticed that since I have kind of limited um, a lot of interaction with people, things have just gotten so much better in my life. And that's one of the reasons why I wanted to make the video about negative people and keeping like negative people out of your life. It really, really, really does make a difference. It really does matter watching the company that you keep because you just don't know. You you really, really don't know what people's motives are, especially now. Everybody is trying to come up. Everybody is trying to take a selfie. Everybody wants to be related to the thing that is like so awesome, but they don't really really deserve that and i'm not trying to point any fingers and i'm not trying to for anybody who might be watching this video that knows me personally i'm not really trying to point any fingers but i am saying that negative people can really really fuck you up <laughs> They can mess you up. They can keep you from doing the shit that you need to do to get done. Like, they, they'll keep you from getting things done. And, <sighs> I don't know. I feel like I'm going all over the place because I want y'all to understand what I'm saying. And I'm pretty sure there are people out there who do understand what I'm saying. But, You have to be around people that are about what you're about. And there's just no way around that. There's no way around that. You have to, you have to, you have to put yourself in a very, very positive space. And the reason I'm telling y'all this is because everybody kind of wants to have a squad and a clique and a group. I mean, especially like, 
this world that we're in now, it kind of glorifies the whole squad thing, having like a posse of people behind you. The most successful people that I have noticed, they don't have a lot of friends. They don't have a squad. They may have a group of people who um, help them and admire them and support them, but for, for the most part, they're pretty much a one-man band. They don't have a whole clique of people around them, and you can't Unless those people are doing what they're doing and they're on the same level. That's the only thing that I can say. But, you know, there is a very, very separated thing that comes with bossing up. And one of those things happened to be loss of friends. In order to gain everything that you really want and like everything that you really really want and everything that you're striving for especially if it's something that is going to cost you money or something that is going to keep you from spending time with people people aren't going to really be supportive of that and that's going to cost you friends that's going to cost you a circle of people that you think are supporting you and that you, you think are by you but it really, really does pay out in the end. Look at your life now with all of your friends and all of the many things that you guys do together. And you have to ask yourself, is this really like what I want? Is, is my life really going in the direction that I'm trying to get to? I mean, for one thing, I noticed that when I really kind of just isolated myself from a lot of people and kind of just started focusing on the task at hand, I saved a lot of money because you're not spending so much money trying to keep up and trying to you know entertain folks and you save money i feel so much less stressed out because i'm actually focusing on what i'm trying to do and trying to get done and i'm not worried about other people's problems and other people's issues and that kind of thing so i'm just saying like it's hard and it gets lonely and you feel really shitty sometimes because you're by yourself all the time but you cannot look at that as the negative thing you know what i'm saying like you have to look at what pro progress you're actually making versus what you were doing in the past with all of your many friends so you know um yeah <laughs> i don't want to keep rambling on and on about this but that is really what I wanted to talk about because I see a lot of people and they're like so damn depressed and they're so down because they don't have any friends. I mean, people will literally like change their self. They will, they will do things that they don't believe in simply because they want friends and they want people around them and it's just not worth it. It's not. Even if... Even if you call your friends members of your family, even if like those friends are like your cousins or something like that, if these people aren't trying to do what you're trying to do and they're not trying to grow as you're trying to grow, then they're not going to grow with you. They're going to grow somewhere else. And if you're not going to grow yourself, you're not going to grow at all if you're with somebody else that is not planning on growing. So surround yourself with people who are growing. I should have said that from the beginning. Surround yourself with people who are growing and going somewhere. Growing and going. Be around those people. Those people will help you. Those people will inspire you. They will motivate you. They will encourage you. Those are people that you need to be around. So just mind that. Mind the company that you keep. Even mind those people who you don't even think are your company but they they're around you and or they're you know they're not just around you but they're near you they know what's going on in your life be careful about that be very careful because there's always somebody who wants a story they want updates they want they're like little tmz's they are they're breaking news stay away from people like that they will destroy you and a lot of people think that sometimes when they're alone that they're failing like they're really their life is like shit and and I know this because I felt like I felt this way and I know that a lot of people have felt that way because shit antidepressant drugs and 
alcohol and drugs and all that kind of thing like that people are really addicted to those things because they're so depressed everybody is so stressed out and they're trying to keep up they're trying to keep up with everything they're trying to keep up with social media they're trying to keep up with their cousin that just bought their new car like they're trying to keep up with everybody and then they're still trying to maintain this realistic approach to themselves like they're still trying to be true to themselves but you know what at the end of the day you know that you're lying you know that you're not being real you know that you're faking you know that you hating you know who you are you know who you are and you are the only person that cannot be fooled by that so Mm, that's all I'm saying y'all I don't have no makeup on today I did not feel like putting no makeup on today I hate that this thing does that I am just chilling I'm relaxing I'm doing homework I'm cleaning up I'm getting stuff done I'm being productive and you should too be productive y'all stay productive always be doing something so um if my makeup brushes didn't get to kiss my face this morning and didn't get to beat my face this morning then they'll be all right i got my nails done well i didn't get them done i did them myself but y'all the shellac the gel nails like this is the first time i've actually had gel nails on my nails and i love them i love them they're so pretty and i feel so just glamorous and all of the above <laughs> so yeah that's gonna be it for today i think that's it that's it i'm loving my new get up mm, mm, mm. it's like i have my my skin is just so spotty it's so spotty but i love my skin i love i just love me i love me i love me and all my flaws and i love it okay i love love that i'm just so happy Mm. I'm just so happy to be in the skin that I'm in. I feel so comfortable with myself and just so I don't care about what people think anymore. I choose to be free. I choose to be me despite anybody's opinions because I'm the only person that really knows the truth. And if they don't understand it, that's one of the reasons why I don't I don't really even respond to negative comments and stuff like that anymore. It doesn't even really bother me anymore. It just rolls off my shoulder boo because they're not me and if you're really really that if you really really are that miserable in your life then you probably should be watching this video because you probably don't have any friends and you you feel lonely and the only thing that you have left to do is you know comment rude shit under somebody's video when they're actually doing something and you're not doing anything and i'm like some of these comments are so funny to me. They're like, you should do this. And you didn't say anything about... <laughs> I think I had a comment on one of my videos about my hormone video. And I think somebody was commenting and they said, um, you didn't mention any of the information about this. And I'm like, well, maybe you should make the video on your channel. And you could say all of those things that I did not mention. So it's just funny to me and everybody always has something to say about what you should not be doing and what you should be doing yet their life says differently they're not doing what they're telling you to do so that's all i'm saying y'all watch the company you keep my don't mind these comp these these weird angry um depressed people's comments and stuff because they will always keep coming and the harder you doing it the harder you going the more it's gonna happen so um i'm going all around the world <laughs> i will see you guys on the next video and until then peace